The Democratic presidential candidates just wrapped up their second debate tonight. National security and foreign policy were front and center in light of the deadly terrorist attacks in Paris. Tonight's debate was touted as a symbol of freedom, freedom that has been under attack. On the discussion of the Obama administration underestimating the threat of ISIS, Hillary Clinton says it's a fight not isolated to America. That we will support those who take the fight to ISIS. That is why we have troops in Iraq that are helping to train and build back up the Iraqi military, why we have special operators in Syria working with the Kurds and Arabs so that we can be supportive, but this cannot be an American fight, although American leadership is essential. But Bernie Sanders made the comment that the rise in terrorism is directly related to climate change. You're going to see countries all over the world. This is what the CIA says. They're going to be struggling over limited amounts of water, limited amounts of land to grow their crops. And you're going to see all kinds of international conflict. Moderator John Dickerson commented on Sanders' disagreement with Clinton about her vote on the war in Iraq and opened up discussion on critiques of her performance as Secretary of State. Here, Secretary Clinton also said that we left behind. It was not just the invasion of Iraq, which Secretary Clinton voted for and essence said was a big mistake, and indeed it was. But it was also the cascading effects that followed that. It was also the disbanding of uh, many elements of the Iraqi army that are now showing up as part of ISIS. The debate then weaved its way through talks of immigration and the candidates' support for making illegal aliens American citizens. Then the topic of immigrants being a wage issue came up and with it, minimum wage increases. No public policy doesn't have in some cases negative consequences, but at the end of the day, what you have right now, uh, millions of Americans work in two or three jobs because their wages that they are earning are just too low. The more our people earn, the more money they spend, and the more our whole economy grows. The overall message is that it doesn't result in job loss. However, what Alan Kruger said in the piece you're referring to is that if we went to $15, there are no international comparisons. That is why I support a $12 national federal minimum wage. That is what the Democrats in the Senate have put forward.